Hey, what's up, YouTube? All right, so I'm going to be doing another football helmet project. I've purchased a Riddell Speedflex used helmet, and I'm going to be turning this into a Utah State Aggies football helmet. So the first thing we're going to do is obviously we're going to take off the hardware. We're going to clean it. I'm actually going to turn this plain white helmet into a pearl white helmet. All right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the face mask and then send it in for reconditioning. Basically, I'm going to remove the quick connects here by pushing in the little button here. And then you can pull it off just like that. We're going to go with a white face mask. So it's going to go off to green gridiron and uh, we'll see it when it gets back. I've had it reconditioned by Green Gridiron. Shout out to them for that service. If you look at the paint here, it's just a gloss white paint. But the goal of this is to turn it into a uh, pearl white paint, just like this. There you go. But the first order of business here is just going to be to remove the, the chin strap here, remove all the padding. I'm going to basically clean the padding and then uh, take a little bit of Goo Gone to clean this residue off the helmet. Then we'll do some paint and uh, add the pearl effect and then clear coat. All right, after the second pass of removing stickers and residue, this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to scuff it up so that the, the gloss layer kind of disappears. And whenever I lay some uh, paint over it to cover up, you know, the dark spots here, then the paint will adhere. So I'm just going to take some light sandpaper and just kind of scuff up the uh, surface of the paint here and then prepare it for uh, a layer of paint. All right, so what I have here is 3M uh, 180 grit sandpaper. So I'm just gonna cut a little, little piece and then just kind of take it around the helmet and step it up. And you'll notice I'm doing this in the sink. I'm doing a wet sand. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of water and just kind of go over all of the areas here. All right, here is a look at the helmet now after everything's been sanded. So there's no longer a shiny finish to the paint. I'm gonna go ahead and put a layer of white gloss paint on it. All right, so right now, after the second coat of gloss white paint, I've gone and applied this glitter product, Fine Royal Blue Holographic Glitter. And so if you take a close look at the Utah State football helmet, they do have some blue glitter that's there. It's not easy to see in photos, but um, you'll notice that if you take a close look at some of the, the photos, you'll see that there's, there's glitter there. So. That's what I did for that. All right, next up, we're going to be adding the pearl for the white pearl paint. And I'm going to use this product called Rust-Oleum Universal uh, Metallic Paint and Primer. And it says pearl mist. So the key to this is once you start with a white base, as you start to apply this, it's going to start to become darker. You'll notice that um, there's a little bit of a tan hue to this. So the key is not to spray this on heavily. Uh, close up because I made the mistake of doing that once and the helmet just became this sort of dark white paint color without much of the pearl effect. So the, the, the idea is to get the flake on there. 
All right, so this is what the helmet looks like after the pearl has been sprayed on. So I left this out in the sun to dry for a little bit. And so the final step now to seal this all in is uh, to clear coat it. And this is the clear coat that I'm gonna be using. It's the Spray Max 2K Clear Glamour 3680061. It is toxic, so please wear a mask. Do it in a well-ventilated area. So you can see the pearl is on there and it's really gonna come out once the clear coat is on there. So it's gonna be a lot more obvious. One thing I will say about clear coating this is that you should go with very light coats. Um, don't go on too heavy because you're gonna start to get runs if you go on too heavy, but don't be afraid to go with several light coats. I'm actually gonna go at least three coats and you want to wait five to ten minutes between each coat so it's been about eight minutes i'm about ready to put on the second coat but the first layer of clear is going to look a little bit hazy and not exactly clear but it starts to clear up the more you put on there so um, slow and steady is the uh, way to to go uh, don't be afraid to uh, do a lot of light coats All right, it has been about three days since I've clear coated the helmet, and um, if you just sort of ignore the uh, the blue glitter here, this which is unique to this Utah State helmet, and take a look at the white sections here, and you can see clearly that there is some orange peel that has formed when I sprayed the uh, clear coat. This is completely normal. There's a little bit of a pebbled finish. To the reflection uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to take some sandpaper and we're going to sand it down to a smooth finish um, but i just wanted to show you a close look at the pearl white if you can kind of see it you can kind of see there's a little bit of a pearl effect on the white paint uh, again this started off as a regular white helmet uh, but you can clearly and easily do it on your own All right, so after I finished with all of the different rounds of sandpaper, here is a quick look at the helmet. You can see that the uh, clear coat is no longer shiny and glossy, but don't be afraid um, because we're gonna bring that right back with our Meguiar's uh, compound, and then we're gonna go with the polish and then wax. So um, a lot of people fear sanding down their fresh paint job but with that orange peel, we definitely did not want that to be present. So uh, this is what it looks like. See a little bit of that pearl. Um, it's really gonna shine through once we uh, compound that and you're gonna see that shine come back to life. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. All right, we have just completed the entire steps of sanding down the clear coat and then compounding, polishing, and then waxing it. So if you remember from what it looked like just a few hours ago, the finish had been dulled down a little bit, but now the shine is back to normal. If you look at the reflection of the lights, it's nice and clear. And then I just want to give you a closer look at the pearl here. You can kind of see the pearl effect on that white paint. But uh, just know that you can do this 
on your own at home quite easily. All right, next up we are going to be shaving off this 3D Riddell lettering so that I will have a flat surface to apply the uh, custom bumper stickers that's going to go in here and on the front bumper as well. All right, up next, I have wrapped these bumpers in plastic bags, and I'm gonna paint these with um, primer. And this is a flat white primer. This is, what this is gonna do is this is gonna make the color of the uh, this dirty white bumper a little more even all the way around. And then when I put that brand new white sticker on top, it's just gonna match a lot better. And the fact that it's flat makes it a little bit easier to adhere to okay here's the front bumper right got this wrapped in a plastic bag with some painter's tape um, and then we're just going to go ahead and paint this might give you a better look uh, with the pearl Better look at the pearl, you can kind of see it a little bit more at this angle with the sun kind of hitting it at that angle right there. All right, and here is a final look at the helmet put together with all of the decals and stickers on it. Custom paint job by yours truly. Going all the way around, taking a look at that nice pearl paint again. It's just to show you that you can easily do this as a DIY project on your own. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it came out. Um, if you want more flake, you can obviously add another layer of pearl mist but i think it turned out pretty well so that's how i do it uh, hopefully you found that helpful and informative and i will catch you guys on the next video